So let's get some background concepts clear about how uh, what goes on uh, behind uh, the ECG recording. How does the ECG waves come about? Okay. So a bit of physics. Uh, if you remember from your physics classes, uh, dipole. What is a dipole? Dipole is when there is a point of negative charge uh, placed at a certain distance from a point of positive charge. These two charges are opposite and they're separated by a distance, uh, uh, whatever that distance may be. A dipole vector. Now, you know that vector has a direction, okay? So uh, when, we, when we put a direction to the dipole, uh, and by convention, we say that it's from negative towards positive, this is important, from negative to positive, uh, then we, we say that uh, it's a vector and its magnitude is equal to the dipole voltage, okay? Uh, so that's, that's self-evident. Just for emphasis, the direction of the dipole is important. It's from negative to positive. Or the ECG, which, is, which works like a voltmeter, uh, will only record a deflection. Now, the point here is recording a deflection, okay? So we know that ECG has uh, uh, isoelectric lines as well. Okay, those flat lines where no voltage is uh, changing uh, during the during those those time points. However, if this were to go up or down, either way, it's called a deflection. Uh, then uh, it's only it, this only happens when a dipole is present. So in the heart, there are dipoles present when there are any positive or ne negative deflections. So. Uh, you have heard about, you have read about the P wave or the QRS or the T wave, okay? Uh, some are uh, depolarization curves and some are repolarization curves, okay? They are formed from an electrical point of view, from a voltage point of view, because of dipoles. If the dipole exists, then you will have these waves. If the dipole does not exist, then you will have a isoelectric line. To recap uh, this very important concept of the heart being a functional syncytium. So let's explain how the ECG waves come about by using this uh, experiment, okay? We have a piece of myocardium, which is suspended in a beaker, all right? And uh, it's connected to a voltmeter through a negative terminal to a positive terminal, okay? This is self-evident. Now there is a rule and the rule is the if any electrical activity occurs in the myocard in this uh, uh, piece of uh, cardiac muscle it will be read by the voltmeter from negative terminal to positive terminal so anything which needs to be read by the voltmeter uh, any deflection upwards or downwards will have to travel uh, from here to here, as you can see that the voltmeter is right now showing an isoelectric line. This is the, this is the isoelectric line, all right? It's flat. Why is it flat? It's flat because look at what is happening over here. Here, this is the surface. Remember, this is the surface of the, of the cardiac cell, okay? Why are we interested in the sur surface? Because ECG, is applied, ECG probes are applied on the surface of the body. So what they do is they pick up whatever is happening on the surface of the heart, which is a depiction of what is happening, happening electrically internally in the heart. That is projected towards the surface of the heart and through the fluids to the surface of the body where it is picked up from the ECG. This is how it's actually made, okay? So right now, the surface is positively charged, okay? And it's at rest. Why is it positively charged? You know the basics of action potential, so I'll be very quick about it. All the sodium charges, all the sodium ions are outside of the cell before it's depolarized. It's during the depolarization that the sodium channel opens and that the sodium moves from outside to inside. If it's closed, well, then the outside is positive and the inside is negative. Okay, this is convention. Now let's say that the threshold stimulus is applied on this side of this tissue, okay? So what will happen is uh, on, on, on this side, sodium channels will start opening. The basic concepts of action potential 
you know already. And what will start to happen is on the surface of the, this piece of uh, myocardium, the sodium ions will go inside, which leaves the surface negative because they have their positive charge, they have moved in. Okay, so the surface now is negative. This is the depolarization wave that will now travel from left to right in this particular diagram, i.e. the negative terminal to the positive terminal. Okay, so if you are sitting on the positive electrode, okay, this is where you are. This is where you are, okay. This is you with a with a hat, uh, and you are watching. What are you watching? You are watching this wave of positivity coming towards you. Okay, let me pause here. You can ask. Well, I was sitting here before as well. Okay, now I didn't see any positivity uh, when nothing was happening. When it was resting, it was still positive charged. I didn't see any positive. The reason is the dipole did not exist. Nothing ha was happening. A dipole, as I, as I explained earlier, a dipole needs to occur for a wave or an electrical activity to be generated. When a dipole was created by you supplying a part of the myocardium with a threshold stimulus, then things start to move. And then a wave was made, a depolarization wave was generated, which in this case was traveling towards the positive electrode, which is where you are sitting. And a wave was generated. Now you will see a, a, a positive, a, a wave of depolarization moving towards you. Uh, but the head front of this will be positive. This is important. It's negative over here. This is where it's negative. But over here, it's still positive. And since a dipole exists of negative and positive, the positive electrode will start to move. And it does. Look at what happens here. It has registered a upwards. Upwards means towards the positive terminal deflection. Here, uh, what makes it come down to the resting level is well, because remember you were sitting here uh, towards a positive electrode. And uh, during the upstroke, you were uh, witnessing a dipole. Now, as the, the magnitude of the dipole decreases, so this wave now approaches the, uh, uh, this point. Let me just mark this out. Uh, this, this area uh, of uh, the, the cardiac muscle, uh, the entire thing now becomes negative. Okay, so now we move to uh, this particular diagram. Okay, this diagram. Uh, and as the whole thing has gone back towards uh, um, not having a dipole, uh, then there is nothing to record. So uh, the upstroke, which was achieved in this particular at this particular point, uh, now will come down to the to the zero level. Let's now repolarize uh, this whole system. Okay, and how do we repolarize that? Repolarization is a, a mirror, a, is a reverse uh, of events uh, which happen in depolarization. So if this is where we left it. Now, uh, assume that the repolarization, it can happen uh, uh, anywhere. Assume that it starts here, this in this part of this, this uh, muscle, okay, the yellow part. And the repolarization then uh, uh, goes from this part towards the towards this, this area here. Now again, you are here. This is where you, where you are, right? Okay. Now you see, as soon as a dipole exists, so there is positivity here and negativity here, yes? So as soon as you, there's a dipole uh, uh, present, uh, the, the recording electrode where you are sitting will start recording. What does it see? It sees positive charge. Right. So, what will happen to the upstroke, uh, to the to the to the voltmeter, or to, to the ECG um, curve? It will go up. Okay, like this. Right. Uh, so, as long as it keeps seeing positive, it will go up. And when let's come to this diagram, then the whole thing becomes positive. It comes back down to zero. 
because the dipole ceases to exist. Okay, so this is how the repolarization is accomplished. Okay, let's put Humpty Dumpty all together again, right? Uh, this is the whole sequence of events uh, which we have studied, uh, uh, sort of experimented uh, from A to E, okay? Now let's derive some rules. By rules, what I mean is how does this information apply on the ECG, okay? So here it goes. Wave of depolarization heading towards a positive electrode is recorded as a positive voltage. You know this, this was that, this was that wave that he's talking about, okay? Okay, now the practical application. The practical application is when there is atrial or ventricular depolarization. You know this from the ECG, the P and the QRS complex, they're, they're in majority, uh, the QRS is in majority also, a positive deflection. You know that P wave is formed due to atrial depolarization and QRS is formed due to ventricular depolarization. This is the backdrop. This is the vector, uh, simplified, simple vectorial analysis of, of, of that event, right? Repolarization, moving away from the positive electrode produces a positive voltage. This is what we did right here, okay? Now the, the practical implication of this is the T wave. Ever wondered by the T wave uh, being the opposite of a depolarization wave uh, is still upwardly deflected? This is the reason. Because the recording electrode of the ECG, they are set up in a way that the repolarization curve moves away, away from the positive electrode, okay? That's why it's always uh, deflected as a positive wave. Three, a wave of repolarization. So he has, he's completing the sequence now. Moving toward, remember, this was a wave. We are now talking about moving toward a positive electrode produces a negative voltage. Now what he's saying is, what if there was a wave which was a repolarization wave it started here, here, and moved in this direction towards the positive electrode. So in this in this way, uh, the positive electrode will see negative charge because the preceding situation was this. This was the situation right here. Yeah, this was the situation. And now you trigger the repolarization from here and it moves in this direction. In this case, the positive electrode will see, will see negative charge coming towards it and hence it will record a negative voltage. Now, atrial repolarization, important question, where is atrial repolarization? It, it, uh, I, I, I have discussed it under the simple explanation of ECG. Uh, it's hidden behind the QRS complex, right? But if it were to be shown, uh, it would be a negative deflection, okay? And this is the reason for that negative deflection because it will be it will be it will be produced by a repolarization wave which moves from uh, which moves toward the positive electrode. Okay, these are the rules and their ECG-based interpretation.